Hey guys, wanted to give you a uh, quick tutorial on this idea I came up with for a efficient um, furnace system. It's a slightly modified version of the uh, what you would typically see of like a uh, basic furnace system with hoppers leading into everything. But what it does is it's set up so that it uses your the fuel that you're using for your furnace very very frugally. Um, because a piece of charcoal will smelt eight items uh, per piece of charcoal. So if you're smelting things in intervals other than eight, then you're wasting fuel. So this is for people that are in survival. You've gotten far enough along to do some basic redstone stuff. You know, it's not super advanced. And you want to make sure you're using your fuel wisely because I personally hate putting things into the furnace and knowing I'm only using, you know, half of the potential that I could be using, even though um, I'm not super early on in the game. I just hate wasting the fuel because I just, it just annoys me. So I came up with this. So this system, I've got an example here where it's kind of built into a wall so you can see how it looks and we'll go over there in a minute and I'll show you how to make it. Um, so this is going to be on the front side of it fairly average furnace setup you have an input chest for what you need to smelt whoops for what you need to smelt you have an input chest here for fuel and an output chest there for everything you cook and what this does is I'm gonna put 10 pieces of gold in there and that'll start cooking but what the system does is it doesn't allow it to cook in anything other than intervals of eight so if you I put 10 things in there, it's going to cook or smelt 8 of them, and it's going to hold 2 more kind of in a holding tank back there, and won't cook those until I add more stuff to the input chest so that it gets to the 8. Um, so that's how that works. So um, here it is in a wall, I've got some iron blocks here just so it's easy to see. This is 4 blocks tall. Um, this lowest chest here is sort of set into the floor level um, and I'll show you how this works the redstone in the back it's not huge um, but I am NOT a redstone expert so it's certainly possible that there's more compact ways to do this but this is what I've got here um, so I'm going to um, show you how this works Let's up to number seven You'll see in a second, I just want to show you, it does definitely work. It only cooks eight of anything at a time. Now it's on the eighth one right now. You'll see that furnace is going to turn off and just, there it's off. So you see it cooked eight of them. The other two are in a holding back there and they will cook once I add more. And it doesn't have to be gold. I could add iron to this and it'll cook the two gold and then run the iron through. So. Let's go through and get to crafting. So first, let me grab some ingredients here. The first step is going to be just a really basic um, hopper clock that you've all probably seen before. Um, the actual area behind the wall is 2 by 7 and then of course the input chests and those hoppers kind of stick into the wall but behind the wall is two by seven so let's get to crafting so first things first uh, you've got your two by seven area right here and you can see the floor level that you're going to have is one higher than that area so you could sink this two by seven into the ground one block if you wanted to uh, but i'm going to do it up just so it's easy to see everything so the first thing we're going to do is on this far corner here, you're going to have one block that's up like this and then down, skip two blocks, a block, and then a block that's up. And then we're going to put a dot of redstone on these two upper blocks. And then we're going to have two hoppers up floating up here so that they're pointing into one another 
And on these blocks coming out of both of those, we will have comparators. And above them, facing over the hoppers, will be some oops, will be some sticky pistons and a redstone block in there. You will need to take an anvil, and I'm gonna grab uh, just some cobblestone. And you want to rename some cobblestone or whatever it is that you have that's you've got an excess of. And just rename it something. I'm going to name these frugal for my frugal furnace. Just so that they are unique completely. Um, and we're going to, I'm actually not going to put those in here yet. Well, I'll put one in so you guys, in case you haven't seen a hopper clock like this. All it does is end up going side to side like that. And um, so the more items you place into here, the, the slower the rate at which it ticks back and forth. So that's the a real basic hopper clock, and that's the first step to this. Next, grab some more ingredients here, and we'll do the next part. Some wool, just so it's easy to see how everything goes. Some hoppers, trap chest, that, comparator. What else do we need? A furnace, obviously. Um, so, the furnace itself is going to be directly in front of this comparator right there. You can get rid of that um, piece of your floor space and pop a chest there. It can be a regular chest if you want. Um, I'm just using a trap chest because it's in the inventory already. Then we're going to have a hopper going into the front of that furnace with a chest on top of that. Um, that's going to be for the fuel right there, and that's going to be for your output on the bottom. Well, and then I am going to grab a stair block because this is much easier to get at if there's a stair in front of it, and then you can get at that bottom chest easier. Um, so this will be, like I said, the fuel. This will be the output. So now we need to put the input. So we're going to have a hopper on top of the furnace going into it. Then we're going to have a hopper going into the side of that. And this has to be from the side of where your hopper clock is. And then a hopper pointing into that from the front. And then we're going to have a chest right here on that front hopper. That's going to be your input. Whoops. That one's going to be your input chest. So that's how that's set up. So input to cook, fuel to cook it with, output at the bottom. So you can see that's the only bits that are sticking through the wall over here. So now we need to hook up so that this thing, um, what we're basically going to do is when this redstone block for the hopper clock slides over, it's going to lock this hopper so that it doesn't let your input flow through into the furnace. And so what this these this back hopper right here is going to be the holding tank where stuff sits waiting for it to have an interval of 8. So that's what that's going to do. And now we just need to do hook up for the um to connect that holding tank into the hopper clock so that it controls everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to put um, we're going to I'm using the blue wool just to kind of show the different circuits. Let me remind myself over to up to okay. So the way this is going to work, you're going to from that hopper you're going to come over to, then you're going to come up and over and up and over again. Nope, I put that one too high. So you actually want it so that this is, what you want to be able to do is have a comparator so it comes out of that holding hopper. So we're going to have come over two blocks, then up and over, and up and over. So you end up with that shape right there. That's correct. 
So now we're going to put two pieces of redstone dust up here. We're going to put a redstone dust there. We're going to add a block here with a piece of redstone. And then the last thing we're going to do is put a block on top of here. And that's going to just to separate these two redstone lines so they don't connect. So now what happens is this side by default stays powered, which locks everything over here. Even if there's items in here that are going back and forth, this torch is going to force it to lock in this position. So now when items go through in there, when there's things in this hopper right here, it'll get registered by this comparator, flow the signal through to turn off the torch, and let the clock run. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to rename. I'm going to grab some cobblestone just because it's completely cheap and easy, but it can be any stackable item of your choice. And we want to rename this item so that it's completely unique. I'm using the name Frugal. And we're going to put eight of them into the hopper clock. Now you can actually change, use this same design to change how many it will release at a time. It, the number that you put in here is the number it'll cook through the system. So we're going to put eight in there. And the next thing we want to do is in your holding hopper, which is should be right next to the redstone block, we want to put 15 of those renamed items in the rightmost slot. So that way, the way this will work is you'll have to get eight items or more into here before this signal strength will switch from one to two. And that's when the system fires. So if you've got eight or more of something in here, then the system will fire. If you have less than eight items, besides your 15 renamed items, then it, they'll sit in this hopper and holding. Um, so just FYI, that does mean that if you put a non-stackable item in here or something that doesn't stack to 64, it will break your system because these 15 renamed items will end up flowing through the system. Um, so actually, if you were to use something non-smeltable in there, then you would be, uh, like if you were to rename redstone dust or something instead, then it wouldn't end up cooking and the whole system would stop working so that you could notice the issue before it cooked your renamed items. FYI, if that's an option for you. Um, but that is it done. So you've got your 15 renamed items in the holding hopper and you've got eight um, items down in the hopper clock and these can be any eight stackable items they don't have to be renamed down here but um, it, it's I prefer it um, and that's all there is to it so I uh, let's test it so we'll grab some charcoal pop some fuel in there and we will grab some gold ore whoops and I will chuck 10 gold ore into there and in case you didn't, I don't know if I said it a second ago, but using a trap chest up here will let it not go through the system uh, until you've closed the chest. So now you can see the eight items flowed in to the hopper that activated this and moved the redstone block out of the way so that these hoppers got unlocked and then after these eight items did their travel it uh, moved back so now if you look the furnace is cooking and our holding tank hopper has two pieces of gold sitting in it because I put in ten so it's cooking eight five still in there and there's three more so it's cooking the first eight out of that ten and the other two are sitting there in the holding tank waiting for more stuff. Now you can go in and you can grab the wall block of your choice and 
definitely looks better if your wall is something that has stairs. And then you can top it up because you can put a upside down stair above these chests. So it just looks like wall. And you can hide the whole thing behind your wall. Just like that. So there you have a frugal furnace that will cook items only in intervals of eight. Um, and again, the only caveat is don't put non-stackable items in there because they will put off a stronger redstone signal and they will trigger the system early, which means your 15 item holding tank there will get messed up. Hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope you guys like my design, my idea. If you think of a, uh, or if you are able to make this more compact, I would love to see it because I think that's really cool. The mumbo jumbos of the world out there that can do all that crazy stuff. Um, and yeah, that's it. So thanks. Oh, and FYI, uh, just because I know there's a lot of, uh, versions changing a lot of times and updated quad is coming out soon i am doing this right now on the xbox one edition not on the bedrock or the better together or whatever they're calling it right now um i haven't switched over to that because it's constantly got too many bugs for me so here is uh it on xbox one edition as far as i know nothing on here or nothing in this design won't work on the other version so if you find any incompatibilities please let me know in the comments and that's it I'm done rambling sorry guys bye